toxic culture, construction, and color guard, and more on this episode of the Cat's Eye News. Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas, and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Letarte for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. Hello, people of Novi. The Novi Forensics team finished their season last week after their state's competition at Battle Creek. With some questions and answers, we go to Ms. Scribblo. What is forensics? Forensics, competitive public speaking in a wide range of events. What are the interpretation events? So there's poetry, there's prose, there's dramatic interp, which is a piece from a movie or a screenplay. There's duo acting, um, there's multiple acting. There's a new one called POI, which stands for program oral interp, which is like a, almost like a grab bag of poetry and DI and prose and kids cut these pieces together and they act them out vocally and physically. What are the public address events? PA events, you have oratory, you have sales speaking, you have informative speaking, you have extemporaneous, you have impromptu. You know, usually kids will come up with those on their own. The kids write their speeches, whereas on the DI side, they'll use published poems or, or plays or things like that. What is the time commitment? Kids who are successful and serious, it's a pretty big time commitment, but it's they get to decide the time commitments. How was this year's season? It was awesome. Um, we had eight members compete at states. It was in Battle Creek at um, Kellogg Community College. Out of the eight kids, seven broke to semis and three broke to finals. Uh, Divya Naluri was sixth in sales speaking in Class A, we're a Class A school. Um, Millen Thurman was third in DI and uh, Neil Arches Manish uh, was second in the state in his first year competing in prose. I heard that the forensics team is planning an ice cream social on May 14th after school that's next Tuesday. Would you like to tell us about the ice cream social next week on Tuesday May 14th after school? Ooh yeah we're having an ice cream social Tuesday May 14th um, after school in room 222, which is the upstairs uh, Old Wing Teacher's Lounge. Um, if you're a returning member, if you're interested or want to know more, um, come and have a bowl of ice cream with us and, you know, learn about it and ask questions. Thank you, Ms. Scribblo. Hope to see anyone and everyone interested in joining Forensics next Tuesday after school. That's May 14th after school at the Ice Cream Social. Have a great day. Hey Novi, this is Luke. Back again to tell you that the Rochester College and the Michigan Accounting Foundation hosted an accounting case study competition in March. Seven of our Novi students in the CTE Finance program won a total of $1,750. Novi's two teams were the only ones able to complete all the steps necessary for the case study. Congratulations to Business Professionals of America Quinn Blanchard and Jackson Zadrandyke for winning first prize for $500. Congratulations to the second team, which was I Han Ji, Arna A, Gabe M, Isaiah K, and Ibrahim R, who each took home $150. Congratulations to everybody who competed, and as always, this is Luke signing off. Hello, Wildcats. My name is Neil, and I'm here to tell you about a community event that's coming up next Monday. Jennifer Wallace has written a New York Times bestseller. It's titled Never Enough, When Achievement Culture Becomes Toxic and What We Can Do About It. The Novi Mental Health Alliance, in partnership with the Novi Public Library, the Novi Education Foundation, and the Novi Community School Districts, has arranged an online meeting where the author of the book Never Enough, Jennifer Wallace, will be speaking to the viewers about the book. She will be sharing with us about how in the world that we live in today there has been a lot more competition, ideas that high school students and, and even younger students are starting to build their resumes early on competing with each other and um, how there's so much more to each individual than their grades and their resume and just talking about how we as a community can support our students um, to make this community and culture a lot healthier. Um, there's greatness in competition but making sure that students know that there's more to them than just what they put on that resume and what their GPA is. The virtual conference will be held Monday May 13th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's Monday May 13th from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. This event is great for parents as they are um, 
helping to support you as students, but high school students also, I think, would really benefit from joining in and zooming into this event. We will be watching it live in the auditorium, but you can also zoom in from home if um, the, the time doesn't work for you. The virtual conference will be held on Zoom. Use this QR code to sign up. Hey Novi, do you want to learn how to spin a flag and rifle? Do you want to make friendships that last a lifetime? Or do you want to participate in a creative competitive activity? If so, the Novi High School Color Guard is having tryouts in the band room on May 13th from 6 to 8 p.m. Be sure to check it out. Hey Wildcats, our photography interest group is currently looking for new officers for the next school year. If you're interested, please scan the QR code and make sure that you submit it before midnight on May 24th. Have a great day, Wildcats. Hey Wildcats, the Black Student Alliance interest group applications are open. If you are interested in being a part of the leadership team, scan the QR code and make sure to fill out the application by May 20th. If you have any questions or concerns, email Ms. Spring. Hey Wildcats, your garden club has been recently accepting new officer applications. If you are interested to be one of the officers, please scan this QR code here to sign up. These forms are due by May 17th. Have a good day, Novi. What's up, Novi? Student Book Group will be meeting on Monday, May 13th at 2.50 p.m. in the Media Center Forum to discuss the book, They Wish They Were Us by Jessica Goodman. All students are welcome to attend, and please email Ms. Bradney with any questions. See you later, Novi. What's up, Novi? Crochet Interest Group is now accepting officer applications for Project Officer and Supply Officer. Crochet skill is required for both of these positions, and along with the photographer, which crochet skill is not required for. Make sure to reach out if you're interested, and there's more information on the flyer on the screen. What's up, Novi? There's going to be no sports report this week because we're working on a big girls lacrosse story, so stay tuned for that and another sports report next week. Thanks for watching this episode of Cat's Eye News. We'll catch you next week, and enjoy your weekend, Novi.